Oh, well, I'm I mean, like I said, I, this, 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 I could easily, you know what? I'd like my donation could, could shave off some of the overhead. So how about, how about I, I, I can make the offer of about four, we'll say four, uh, four healthy, very healthy llamas. And then in that exchange, uh, I could get the balance due of the thousand dollars back in some form. I could probably drop it off at the local, at the local PC office. So for healthy what exactly i didn't really quite understand that oh sorry like llamas just... llamas yeah that's I, I ran a llama farm this election you have to ask yourself are you living better than you did when we put four hundred thousand children into poverty when we hugged donald trump when we poured literal shit into our environment. And now this man, well, he wants you to put a mask on your dick. That's right, a mask on your dick. That's not the Canada we come from. Is it the Canada that you come from? This is the future for all of us. I love eating your children. <laughs> they can use that, by the way. You have you have my rights. You have my rights to, to go use that commercial, Justin God, Trudeau. Uh, and just a little bit more cringe. Justin Trudeau is promoting COVID-19 benefits for struggling workers, but he's already cut those benefits, so he's now touting the things that he already took away. So it's kind of like, hey, everybody, cool, you, you want you want benefits, uh, we need them, so they're going to be a campaign promise, even though we're the ones that took them away. Uh, so, you know, fuck you. One of the big reasons we had uh, universal basic income in the form of CERB was because the NDP do not let the liberals win a majority, they will run the country uh, with their neon claws, uh, to say the least. Something else that's fucking hilarious. I don't think even Donald Trump had the gall to do this. This is uniquely Doug Ford. He is sending out invoices for campaign donations. I kid you not. He is sending out, will you help us? Please pay the enclosed invoice to send Doug Ford the clear message that we've got his back. Your generous donation is the first critical step. Uh, this was not a one-off. Just, it just, everyone started reporting this all over the Twitters. Like, what the fuck? Balance due, $800. Hmm. Interesting. It's like, it's not even like, would you like to donate to help us crush and get those liberal tears? Would you like to buy a jar of liberal tears? We can, we can send you liberal tears. We'll get them for you. No. It's just, we're straight up invoicing you. Very, very PC. Oh, another one. $1,000. Can you imagine getting this? Invoice, a thousand dollars balance due. Be like, holy fuck, what did I miss out on? <laughs> when did I black out? Holy shit. Was I just like in a mineral in the middle of like Mardi Gras, just giving some speech and parked my car and walked away and, and ended up in a hospital somewhere? Is, is that where this this mysterious bill is coming from? Nope. Campaign donations. Important. <laughs> Invoicing closed. <laughs> you pieces of shit. You absolute pieces of shit. Um Hey, everybody, because there's a few people watching right now. Um, of the 500 of you, can someone find out if I need two party consent laws to call the PC Party of Ontario? Can someone find that out? Because uh, if not, I'm going to call them and ask about my invoice. It depends on your location. My location is in British Columbia. I am in Canada. Canada. Keep me safe, chat. For the lulls. Keep me safe for the lulls, y'all. All right. Got the phone number. Gonna wait until I get permission here. Is it legal to record a conversation in Ontario? This is all about like, is your ex being uncooperative? Well, find out if you can record her. In Ontario, if you are recording a conversation between you and your ex or anyone else for that matter, it doesn't really matter as long as you are involved in the conversation being recorded. Oh, okay. All right, cool. Um, I consent to this recording that I'm about to do. Thank you for calling the Conservative Party of Canada. Merci d'avoir appelé le Parti Conservateur du Canada. Please press 1 for English. To speak at the National Service Desk, press 1. To use the staff directory, press 0. If you know the extension of the person you wish to reach, you may... 1 minute 47 seconds.
seconds. Thank you for calling the Conservative Party of Canada. Your call may be monitored or recorded for quality assurance. So we're on the same page. I consent. I consent to you recording me as you consent to me recording you. Whales. Orcas. Geese. Moose. Mice. All the animals together. Conservative Party. The law only applies to your ex, is the CPC. Conservative Party, Rachel speaking. Hi there. Um, I just wanted to say that I'm recording this call because I often forget what I talk about after a few minutes, if that's all right. All right, no problem. So I'm in Ontario. And, you know, huge fan of the Conservative Party, have been a lifelong supporter my entire life. Uh, could not have anything but good things to say about Aaron. Love what he's doing so far. And then I get this letter in the mail, see? And it says invoice. And it's invoicing me for $1,000 uh, to try and help the Ontario PC party. Now, I didn't sign up for that. Is is as clear as I can be on this one. You know, as clear as the river. So, so what exactly is going okay. down? Um, that is probably an email that I sent out to all electors who just advising them on supporting the party. So, no, it was, it's 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 not an email. I'm I'm holding a literal piece of paper in my in my. I hand mean, here. email. My bad. I meant. I meant oh no email. worries. Yes, if and if you as it, as it is for donation, if you don't want to, you know, contribute for donation, it's also on you. It's just a suggestion that we're asking, I mean, we're, that we're requesting. And if you do want to, it's also up to you. And if you don't want to, it's also up to you. But it's see, not something like, that is ob ob obligated. Well, I'm, I'm very glad to hear you say that because, you know, I'm a, I'm a hardworking man. I'm, I'm a man of the soil. I raise llamas, but we don't make a lot anymore. Like the market for llamas isn't what it used to be. We used to, we used to sell like three or 400 a year. Now we're down to like barely 100. So the idea of this $1,000 debt because it came in the form of an invoice. I mean, I I, I kind of see life in terms of llamas, right? So to me, that was like that was at least that was at least a dozen stock, and I good 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 lads didn't want to lose them. So that's why this kind of came down on me. Like it was it was something I had to worry about. So is is there any way that I could possibly um, have the money refunded to me? Um. Did you? How can I say? Oh no, I haven't I haven't paid anything yet, but I'm I'm thinking if you invoice me, I could I could maybe give it to you in stock and then you could return it you could return the amount of money to me and then we could just call ourselves square. Okay, then what would be the like the point of giving and after the refunding, you know? It's like if you know what what would be the point of, you know, giving and after when you know you would want to refund back directly? Oh, well, I'm I mean, like I said, I, this, 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 I could easily, you know what I'd like my donation could, could shave off some of the overhead. So how about, how about I, I, I can make the offer of about four, we'll say for, uh, for healthy, very healthy llamas. And then in that exchange, uh, I could get the balance due of the thousand dollars back in some form. I could probably drop it off at the local, at the local PC office. So for healthy what exactly i didn't really quite understand that oh sorry I mean, like, llamas just... llamas yeah that's I, I run a llama farm oh okay unfortunately that's not something that we do and you're currently calling the headquarters who are taking care of fundraising and membership so i do take care of like membership requests or donation requests regarding sending us any llamas for an exchange of donation that will definitely not possible be possible but what i can do if you if you want to help locally i can always provide you with a number that you can call and you can help them out there no 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 i appreciate it honestly you've been incredibly helpful i like i can't thank you enough i hope you have a wonderful day how about you too and who am i speaking with uh this is mr sam lama sam lama and last name is l-a 
M-A? Oh, no, that's the name of the business. No, sorry. Last name is Chairman. Uh, spelled just like the, the item, and then uh, man. Okay. Well, no problem then. And if you want to donate uh, the amount that you want, you can also just call us back, and we'll be able to help you with that. All right, sounds good. Thank you. All right, you're welcome. It's been a long time, y'all. I lost it. <laughs> I lost it at the end of the <laughs> Oh, so what's the name of your dentist? Oh, my dentist's name is Crentist. <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> but yeah, they won't accept perfectly good llamas. What, what, what country is this? You know? What country is this? Well, at least they acknowledge that this isn't uh, a bad thing. So, there's that. Yeah. <laughs> Sam Llama. <laughs> Ah, uh, when you have the mind of a 12 year old, but you're pushing 40. Hey, speaking of which, uh, Justin Trudeau uh, has said something that I think you Americans will love. All right. You Americans will love because now you don't have to be embarrassed for Pokemon go to the polls anymore. It is exactly the example of the kinds of things you need to do to counter the she, the she session and turn it into a she covering. Once more for the people in the back. The she, the she session and turn it into a she covering. So what he's trying to say, but he's getting the lance because, you know, how I mispronounce things. This one wasn't intentional. But yeah, he, he wants to uh, change uh, a recession. In, uh, but he calls it a, a secession. But he calls it a C-session. Se well, that is a tongue twister once you get to this degree. And turn it into a, a, a she covering. Now, I'm going to guess this one wasn't pre-scripted. I'm going to, I'm, there's probably not a room, you know, there's not a war room of Canadians just sitting there in a circle thinking, what will really get this, you know? The problem with Jagmeet Singh is he's got TikTok down, all right? The kids love him. You got to, got to pull him in with some catchy bits, you know? But now Pokemon Go to the Bulls. <laughs> I was serious. It seems metal now in comparison to this. Like, what is this absolute garbage? How did you outdo Hillary Clinton? By the way, she's helping out. Counter the she, the she session and turn it into a she covering. <laughs> Fact is, uh, the conservatives don't talk about that in their old. No one talks about that because you made it up. It's the first time anyone's heard these terms. That's why, probably, you know, like, like why won't my opponents bring up the C session or the she session? <laughs> my God, oh, what a blind spot. <laughs> Fools, the lot of us. Lengthy platform. It is exactly the- You bet that was workshopped, really? You think someone workshopped that? Well, uh, fair dues. Oh man, that's a good cringe face. E. E. Do you want, do you want, do you want movies and sur surfs watching the movies? So then come over to the new channels. It's the surfs the cinema. Thanks so much for watching everybody. Can you do the thing, you know, that uh, thumbs up and comment and all those things that help us out in the algorithm that controls every aspect of our lives. Also, if you happen to have a Facebook account, um, can you, can you delete it? Like just, just delete it. You should probably delete your Facebook account because it's just, it's not a great company, but hey, if you can't do that for whatever reason, I understand. And uh, could you also go to facebook.com slash the surf times then and uh, give us a little like and a follow. We're just trying to push back against the fact that people like Ben Shapiro happen to dominate the platform entirely. And when everyone asks, why do older generations believe the things they believe? One of the problems is the majority of them on social media use Facebook. So to counter that, uh, we're just going to be on there too now. Also, if you happen to have a union or a worker co-op or even a leftist project podcast website, Zoom, MySpace, it doesn't matter. We will advertise it for free on this channel. All you got to do is go to wearesurfs.com and use the forms that we got there, wearesurfs.com. Thanks, everybody. To our gods, Tigro and Peyton L. Jus, we pray to you, our sky daddies, to keep us safe from harm. To our monarchs, Tom Spiker and the Tim Caucus, we shall humbly clean your golden toilets in your spatial palaces. To our lords, Ultra Wolf, Eva Nudi, Trevor R., Alexander Thaler, Ryan Lubin, and Jeff Lamb, we are eternally grateful for this small segment of land for us to toil and work. To our knights, Ariane McCarthy, Daniel Sutton, Ants are still running the world, Coulter Smith, Val 9000, 
Jenna Tall, Dark Puppy, Quiet One Eighty Five, Anna Loves Riley, Omni, Riley and Anna, Poodle Hawk, Ulti Mondi, Trevor Janice, Lemmy One Hundred One, Anthropophojack, Saren Forty Two, Chronic to Hemp Hog, Catherine, Bone Jenny, Radical Maniac, Ramona Costa, Jimmy Big Nuts, Violent Orchard, Sophie Baby, Political Puppy. Andreas Chiringuito, Zach Christensen, Joe B, Josh Mickelson, Todd Buckingham, and Todd Lajeunesse. We raise our glasses, we raise our swords, and we salute you, our friends. And to Lance, you are the wind beneath my wings. <laughs>